It is the morning and I need to extend my visa. I've got a double entry visa which gave me two 60 day re-entries into the country I'm on my second one and I'm now extending it to get 90 days. Um, a further 90 days on top of my original 90 days. Uh, what you want to do in Chiang Mai or most immigration offices, you want to get there early. Um, I think it opens at 8, so really you want to get there for 8. It's not that vital, in all honesty. All it means is, is that the whole thing is going to be about an hour shorter than if you went at 10, for example. Um, but because I'm a bit of a shit cunt and well, am I a shit cunt? I don't know, but I'm going to go up the mountain because I love to cycle and cycling is more important than getting my visa extended or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it all when I go, but um, try and get there between 8 and 9 I guess. Right now I'm going to go up the mountain and sweat some beads. <laughs> I'll show you how to extend your visa in Chiang Mai. Hey guys, I'm back from the mountain and uh, I'm on my way to the visa office, I'm a little bit late. I'm going to show you a picture now, or now, or round about now, of Promenade Mall um, and maybe how, you know, the best way to get there basically. It's really easy to get to and you can't miss it once you're there. But I just thought I'd show you, I'm about to leave and what I'm taking and what you're going to need to take. Um, so firstly you need your passport and this is a TM arrival card get a better look at that. You see that? You always get these when you're on a plane or entering the country basically. Um, try and just staple it to your passport so you don't forget because it makes it a little bit easier when yeah it's not vital to have the TM arrival card but it's, it's important for the departure card whatever it is. Photo and 2000 baht. Um, if you're if you're like organized you could maybe get um, everything uh, photocopied as well but I'd just do that there I'd really recommend doing that there because I think you need to have the online form to get that photocopied so yeah um, it's 1,900 baht photo passport I'll show you the rest when I'm there peace so this is Promenade Moor and you just follow the car park around and it sort of goes underground Okay, so I'm underground, locked up the bikes, and you come through this little thing into this area where there's lots of seats, there's a photocopy and Photoshop there, and you want to come to this little desk, information desk. where you get one of these. Can I have my passport please? Okay, so I filled out my form. This, you're trying to get the visa application for a temporary stay, for an extension. We already had a photo from a while ago, so when you go in to get a photocopy done, they stick it on for you, and then they also photocopy the passport, TM card, visa stamp, they know what they're doing anyway. And then you go from here back to the information desk with your 2000 baht, and yeah, hopefully you get approved. And now we wait. It's been a power cut in the mall. What does this mean? Nice place.
So I've just come to edit this video and I lost some footage from that day. So basically after handing in on my passport, 2000 baht and all those photocopies and stuff, um, I went around the mall for a couple of hours, just fooled around uh, and you come back and you want to be there after about an hour or so. You basically need to be there because they call your name on this big uh, speaker and you go to this front desk in the middle and it's really easy to see where the front desk is everyone's waiting around it and um, you go up there and they take a picture of you then they say please sit back down once they've said that to you you're basically waiting for another five minutes or so they're actually dealing with your visa application then and then you go back up and they hand you your visa with a receipt and that's it and your passport and everything and you're good to go so um, that's how you get your visa done in Chiang Mai Thailand for the visa extension so that gave me an extra 30 days on top of my 60 days from when I re-entered the country. So in 30 days I'll have to do something else. I have to leave the country then. So yeah, I hope this video, or you found this video useful. Um, and if you have any questions about the immigration or visas or anything like that here in Thailand, just give me a message or a shout. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.